has mastered the art of entertaining audiences of all ages. From her time as a finalist on America's Got Talent to performances across, across the country, Grandma Lee bringing her unique sense of humor to the Comedy Zone this week, which is really a hometown show because she's from here. So she's joining me now with a preview. Thanks for coming back. We always I'm, happy, I'm happy to be here. So, you know, a lot of people may not know that when you get up on stage, a lot of times you just wing it. I do. Yeah. So <laughs> I'm to the point I don't care. <laughs> that, does that does that come with maturity? Because I, I really am, I, like, I want to get there. I've always kind of been that way. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah. I'm a little dirty, but people aren't offended. Yeah, well, I mean... They say stuff like, I wish you were my grandmother. I want to be like you when I grow up. Well, that yeah, that's exactly how I felt, you know, when I first met you and you came on the show. Yeah. I was like, wow. I mean, she's... I mean, I can imagine, like, family reunions and holidays are pretty funny around your house. Yeah, they say I have no filter. <laughs> well, that, you know, I mean... I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> So when um, when you take the stage now, I know there's probably a lot of things. I know you get a lot of material from just your regular life and your oh, yeah. family. Oh, yeah. But when you look at social media and some of the other things, that is that like an, an endless form of, of, of getting you some material these days? Well, like Trump's given everybody a lot of material. Yeah, that's true. You can't help but talk about him. Yeah, so, so what do you talk about with him? Nothing. I don't talk about him. Oh, you don't? But I'm going to. <laughs> You're, well, like we said before, I mean, you wing it, so, you know. If just... he picks Sarah Palin as a running mate, I'm done with him. Really? Mm. So when, when you get up on stage, do you kind of play off the crowd? I don't mess with the audience. That's good. There's too many horror stories. Like a guy was messing with a lady one time, about, she was small busted. Mm -hmm. She had double mastectomy for the first time out. Oh, no. I don't want to offend anybody, you know, I don't want to. People are leaving tears, so I'm like, yeah. I don't mess with the crowd, unless it's unless it's your own family, because then then that that's well, that's that's totally on limits. I know that from my yeah, own family. Yeah, you right? can do that because you know they just need to get. Of course, they tell me I have no filters, so they're expecting it. They expect it. I mean, like they you can't come over and not expect no, something, I know, right? I know. Um, who do you pick on the most in your family? I don't really pick on them per se. No, I don't want to piss them off. <laughs> they only invite me over for the holidays. <laughs> that's. <laughs> and that's kind of important. It is. So what do you like about performing here in Jacksonville? This is my favorite club. I started out here. Yep. And everybody's so nice there. I, I look forward to it every year. Yeah, I'm sure. A lot of people, um, you, I, I know you get a lot, of the, a lot of people that are really devoted to you coming out to these shows. Um, but what can some of the new people who've never seen you perform expect? I just say the unexpected. They don't expect it. A little old lady in her 80s get up there talking about stuff, you know. They expect me to be knitting and making cookies, but I'm not. <laughs> All right. Well, we love having you on the show. Thank you so much for coming back. We want to tell you where you can see Grandma Lee. She is performing through Saturday at the Comedy Zone. She has one show at 7.30 tonight. Then she has shows at 7.30 and 9.45 uh, this weekend. For more information about tickets, just go to the Morning Show page of newsforjax.com.